You know, Soul Family, bro, like, let me tell you this, man. I seen a video on social media, right? And this guy asked this woman, like, uh, what do you do for a living, right? This woman has said, like, I breathe, right? This woman literally said, I breathe. I breathe into the universe, the multiverse, and, like, you know, everything that I need comes to me, right? Now, if you say that shit to my relatives, they're going to look at you they're going to look at that woman like she crazy because why, bro? A lot of melanate, a lot of Afro hair nationality people in USA, they're dumb as fuck. The dumbest melanated people on the planet is the ones in USA. Not the ones who grew up in the Caribbean countries, not the ones who grew up in the Solomon Islands, not the ones who grew up in the African countries. It's the ones in USA, bro. USA has the dumbest melanated people in history. It shows year by year, bro. And you know, and you know why? Because a lot of Afro hair nationality people, they lost their way in USA. Like all this damn, bro, th the only melanated people you see that have not lost their way is like people like the Usain Bolts of the world, the fucking goddamn, the people who grew up in these Caribbeans and African countries, bro. Those Afro hair people, they have not lost their way. It's, it's the ones who grew up in the countries where they did not come from, bro. The Afro hair people that grew up in USA, Canada, United Kingdom, where they did not fucking come from, they, bro, they, they act like robo toys, man. If you told a bunch of Afro hair nationality people in USA that I breathe and I, and, and everything I breathe into this multiverse is going to come in, it's going to come to my needs and everything I, everything I need is going to attract me and it's going to come to me, right? A lot of Afro hair nationality people, they can, and in USA, they cannot resonate with that shit, bro. But you tell Afro hair nationality people who grew up in an African country or, or a fucking Caribbean country, they gonna resonate, bro. Melanated people, uh, with people with Afro hair, bro, they dumb as shit out in USA, bro. All they, all they do, all they worry about is trying to be like Sexy Red, trying to be like Alicia Keys, trying to be like fucking Beyonce, trying to be like fucking Kodak Black, trying to be like fucking Lil Durk. Trying to be like Kirk Franklin, trying to be like all these fake ass motherfuckers in Hollywood, and also trying to chase these these fake ass these fake ass uh, systems, these fake ass worldly systems. That's not even a father and mother nature essence. So many melanated people in USA trying to be a part of fraternities and shit, trying to kiss ass to white supremacy, bro. It makes no damn sense. You would think that these type of Afro hair melanated people come from some type of different ethnicity group that we have not heard of with the way that melanated people in USA who grew up there, they be chasing all this fake ass shit that was, that was created by the damn pilgrims, man. So I agree with the woman who literally said that she breathed, like anything she breathes and, and thinks about in this multiverse, like it's going to come to her when she needs it. And everything she already needs is already is already there for her, right? You can't tell that shit to my relatives. The ones that's like in their 40s and 50s, bro, you can't do that. Bro, Generation X people are like lost in USA. Like Generation X people, the baby boomers, man, like, bro, in USA, they are far gone, bro. They got that pilgrim teaching it, bro. Like, bro. This shit is crazy, bro. This shit is real sad, bro. And when you think about these Navajo Indians, bro, these Navajo Indians, bro, they are the main people. They are the main people who hate white supremacy. They're the main ones. They're the main ones that's living out in or Oregon, Arizona, New Mexico, um, Northern California. They're the main, these Navajo Indians, they hate white supremacy. They hate the damn evil ass Freemason money system that fucking takes the life energy out of a lot of damn citizens in USA. We see how the fucking Freemason money system drains the life out of these Afro hair people in USA, bro. Bro, I don't feel like I'm losing my damn voice when I be explaining this damn shit, bro. It makes me damn mad, bro. This shit makes me want to fucking kill myself. Like, imagine being around people that can't resonate with you. 
you will want to kill yourself. Don't lie. You will want to kill yourself. Because I damn sure would. I'll kill myself by, you know, drinking shit that's not good for my body, eating shit that's not good for my body, and be done with this damn shit. Because if it's gonna be a bunch of afro hair people that look like me in lame ass USA that fucking runs off of pilgrim ideology, bro, I'm 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 gonna take myself out, bro. Fuck this shit. Fuck the damn pilgrims. Fuck Abraham Lincoln, Joe Biden, Christopher Columbus looking ass motherfuckers. Bro, they demonic as shit. And for these damn afro hair people who root for Team USA, bro, you's a fucking sellout. That's the main country that fucking oppress afro hair people. The fuck? Man, this shit is lame, bro. That's, bro. This shit is lame, man. I wish I could, I wish I could actually manifest I wish I could actually manifest into my existence. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do that. Matter of fact, I manifest that I pass away of heart failure in my sleep. And then that way, these damn lame ass Afro hair melanated people in USA, they can they can just like crumble with this fake ass society and, and don't even and, and they don't even gotta know that I fucking exist for me calling out this damn evil shit, bro. You know what's crazy, bro? For me to call out this damn evil ass system, I'm more of a Navi Ho Indian. It's like I'm more connected with Navi Ho Indians than what I thought I was. If I'm calling out this evil ass fucking pilgrim ass system that got these fucking Afro hair melanated people being disconnected from who they truly are, bro. Bro, if it's gonna be a damn tug of war and stressful ass battle of, of me being around people that can't resonate with me, even though they got my hair, they got my skin color, bro. I might as well manifest, I might as well manifest heart failure and pass away and be done. Like, fuck this damn shit, man. I'm gonna be honest, this, this life is not worth living. It's not worth living at all. When you be around people who always stressing over money, what's the point of living then? What is the point of living if people stressing over fucking money? That's why I hate USA. That's why I hate people of my skin color in USA. They don't act like no damn Africans. They don't act like no damn Jamaicans and Caribbeans, man. I'd rather pass away of heart failure, man. You, man, bro, you damn Navajo Indians, bro. You are so damn lucky you got people that can, you can stick together with. I don't have that shit because I'm not a Navajo Indian. I come from an African lineage. I got Afro hair. But these people that got Afro hair like me in USA, they don't act like no damn Africans or Caribbeans, bro. I'm not even from this damn country. If anything, I'm a fucking illegal alien to this damn country. Like, fuck this shit, man. Fuck all this damn evil ass demonic shit in USA and all these damn Western countries, bro. It's not a good place for no spiritual melanated people, bro. It ain't, it's not a good place. If you're a dark-skinned melanated male, regardless of your African-Caribbean nationality, you Western country is not good for you at all, bro. People, family relatives is not going to hear what you got to say against shit that's evil because you're a dark-skinned melanated male, bro. This shit is lame, man. This is, this is the reason why I wish I was a different ethnicity when I was birthed, man. If, if I had the power to change my ethnicity, I would do it. I would change my ethnicity to be a Navajo Indian. Because then that way, shit, I ain't got to deal with these lame-ass Afro-hair people in USA who always want to go against me and shit. How the fuck you go against somebody who looks like you? That's some bullshit, man. This is the reason why I would, I would, I'm actually going to manifest me passing away due to heart failure. That's gonna happen. That's gonna happen this year. I will pass away of heart failure. I'm tired of dealing with these fucked up ass Afro hair people in USA who don't wanna resonate with spiritual dark skinned melanated males. Fuck this shit, bro.